Hello, this is Mike Liley, and this is the third in a series of four videos on uh, databasing in Flash Builder. And just to let you know from the beginning is you can go get all this code from uh, my Google code, which is code.google.com forward slash p forward slash lv3d forward slash downloads forward slash list. And uh, where we've been is the first video we talked about not to use uh, the old Flex2 and Flex3 uh, XML approach. But in Flash Builder, there's a new approach, and that is using tokens and value objects. And in the next video, we actually talked about the LAMP, MAMP, and WAMP server, how to install it, and ports, and turn off Skype, and, and what your root folder was. And we got to the MyPHP admin, which I call the holy grail of databasing. So today, we're actually going to build a database using uh, PHP MyAdmin. And what I want to talk about is a site, potential site for my book. And say I'm going to have a book site, and I want people to click on an image, and I want the image to pop up with a video and some description of what's in that chapter. So the first thing I need is a primary key. That identifies all the items in my database. I need a title, which, for example, would be the chapter number. I need an image, a video, and a description. So that will be my database. So let's go to PHP My Admin and create that. And you're going to be amazed at how easy it is to create a database. Let's come on down here. So the first thing you want to do is come on down here to the system tray and click on the icon WAMP server and go to um, PHP My Admin. And up will come PHP My Admin and we're going to create a database. And we'll call it My Book Database. And hit Create. Now it's going to want to know a table and the number of fields in that table, so let's give it a table name. And let's just call it um, book table. And how many fields do we have in it? Well, let's go back to our original design document. Not much of a design document here. I just say, hey, just an ID, title, image, video, and description. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five fields. Okay. So let's put five in there. And just hit go. And now I've created a database and I need to fill in those items. Now, the first field in my database is going to be what? The ID. I can just call it my ID. Okay, and then it's going to be an integer, that's right, and it's going to be the primary key, and I've got to make sure I mark that as primary key. So I'll scroll over here, go to index, and go to primary key. Boom, that's all I had to do with it. Now the rest of them I'm just going to mark as var care, and then I guess the last one, the description, I'll give it like a text uh, type. But you know what? If you want to know, learn more about what these fields mean, just make sure you go to the SQL documentation and read about each one of them. And there are tons and tons of tutorials on the web. This is just building a database very quickly. So the next one I'll call it uh, title. And the next one we'll call it uh, image. And the next one we'll call video. And the next one we'll call description. And uh, so let's go ahead and put some types in there. We'll just call this varcare. Var care, var care, and we'll just give this uh, text. And depending on what you choose for text, it depends on how long your text is going to be. This is going to be a short text. That'll be fine for me. But if I wanted something longer, I'd actually choose a, a different text uh, value to do that. Now you need to give these some links. So with the um, this, I can choose just 127. Will give me kind of a half a byte. So 127, 127. Or I could choose 255. A lot of people just put 255 in there. And I'm good with that. And that's all I have to do in a sense to create my database. And that's all I have to do to create my database. Uh, and I'm coming along here and just hit save. So now I've created my database. And I can actually come along here and take a look that in my database list, there's a database called My Book Database. Let's click on that. It says it has one. That means it has one table in it. Click on that. And there it is right there, and I can actually come and surf that table a little bit. And there's all the different values. And I could actually come in here in this field right here, let me show it to you. And I could input data if I wanted to. But I'm actually going to just bring the database up in Flash Builder and input my data through there. So right now this uh, database is blank, there's nothing in it. It just has the structure, the fields that I need to input data into. So now that we've created our database, uh, we need to actually connect to that in Flash Builder. So make sure you remember the name of your database, My Book Database, and we'll need a, a number of other parameters you need to remember for connecting. So now that you have your database created, let's bring up Flash Builder. 
So now we just need to create a new application in Flash Builder. So in the Packet Explorer, just right click on the blank screen here and go New, Flex Project. And we're going to give it a name and we'll just call it, I'll call it AAA, just want to appear at the top of the list here, My Database. Call it My Book Database. And uh, you want to make sure now, most important option here is that you choose PHP. You can change this later, but it just is easy to start with it from the beginning. So choose My PHP, and that's going to enable you to connect to the server. So once all that is done, you want to go to Next. And you're going to start the server connection process. Now, very important here, I want to point a few things out. You need to know the address of your WAMP server. In this particular case, if you recall from the second video, it was in the C drive WAMP www. That's your root folder. And then you know the need to know the host or the local or the root URL, which is localhost. Very easy. Now once you've done that, you want to notice also below here is that it immediately it's chosen in your application what folder it's going to put on that root server. And that's going to be AAA, my database or databook base debug folder. So when you run a, a, an application you have all these folders or files going into your debug file and it's actually going to just put all that onto the server for you automatically. And that's so cool about Flash Builder. So when you're done with that you want to validate and make sure everything is correct. So just hit validate. It goes, hey yeah it exists. I'm connecting and you're ready to go. So just hit finish. And what's happening is, is that Flash Builder is generating all the files that you need to talk to that server. Now the next thing we need to do is that we need to run the data wizard. So let's go to Windows and click on Data Services. And right here you see Connect to Data Services. Click on that. And we want to choose PHP. And it's going to ask you a few things here. Hey, do you, can you configure your PHP service? Do you have a class to connect to? No, what you want to do is just click on here. Click here to generate sample. Click there, and here's the important information that you're going to need. Of course, here's your root name, and for a Windows, you don't have to put a password in. I believe for a Mac, you probably need to just type in root for the password. Your host name will be localhost, and your server port, that is the port of your PHP INI file that you remember we brought up earlier. So if you click down here on the MAMP server, and you go to uh, MySQL, and you go to the INI file as we did earlier, up in that INI file, you see you've got 3306. That's that port number right there. And then uh, you want to make sure you have the name of your database. And what was the name of our database? I totally forgot. So I'm going to run back to, to the my to PHP my admin, and we can see the database I generate was my book database. So let's type that in. My book database, and hit connect to database. And when you do that, this activates this table. So you can come along here and choose your table, which is book table, and then come along here and hit my ID, which is it's a primary key already, it shows it, that's great, and just hit OK. So now click on OK, and that generates all the code that you need to talk to that database. And go ahead and hit OK again, or hit finish, and what it's going to do is going to bring up Dreamweaver, and you're going to be able to see all the PHP code generated to enable you to talk to that database. And this is extremely important. Well, here's all the parameters that you input in the, in the control panel. Root, uh, I left the password blank, localhost 3306, my book database, and book table. In all of this, you have the CRUD. You can see you have methods for uh, to get all the data, methods to get data by ID, methods to create a data tape, methods to create a data item, Methods to update a data item. Methods to delete a data item. Connection methods, count methods, and paging methods. So this is pretty uh, powerful. And this is going to be your service, PHP, that you're going to use in a sense to talk or update that database. So in the next video, we're going to go into that in more detail.